Hello everyone, my name is Miss Rebecca and welcome back to StoryCraft. So we are in the last three weeks of summer reading, so I thought it would be fun to do a bit more lengthy of a project. So for the next three weeks we're going to be slowly, piece by piece, constructing this summer beach themed diorama. So our first week we will make the lighthouse, second week we're going to make the boat, and the third week we're going to make the background and put it all together. So I hope you can join me for the next few weeks as we make this diorama. I hope you enjoy it and let's get on to the story. Alrighty, the next book in our little summer series is called Little Bear's Little Boat by Eve Bunting. Alrighty, Little Bear loved his little boat. He rode it all around Huckleberry Lake. He fished from it. On sunny days, he lay back in it, closed his eyes, and dreamed, and he was happy. When his mother called him in for bed, he pulled his little boat up to the shore. Good night, little boat, he said. I'll see you tomorrow, and he always did. But then something happened. Little Bear began to grow and grow. He got bigger and bigger. Soon he was not a little bear anymore. He was a big bear and he didn't fit in his little boat. He tried to sit in it as it bobbed on the lake, but he and the little boat both sank down, down to the bottom of the blue, blue water. Where are you, my big bear? Mother called. Big bear and his little boat both spluttered up. Glug, big bear said. You are too big a bear now to fit in that little boat, mother said. It is a little bear's destiny to grow and grow till he is a big bear. It is a little boat's destiny to stay the same size. Big bear was sad. I can't leave my little boat with no bear to sit in it or fish from it or dream in it, he said. It is a little boat's destiny to keep sailing on a blue, blue lake. He scratched his head. I know, I will find another little bear who will love my little boat the way I love it. Big Bear walked around Huckleberry Lake. Have you seen any little bears anywhere? He asked Beaver. Not since you were a little bear yourself, Beaver said. Otter hadn't seen a little bear either. But Blue Heron had. One lives with his mother on the other side of the lake, he said. I saw him eating berries this very morning. So Big Bear walked around the lake again and found the little bear. I have a little boat for you, Big Bear said, but there is one thing you should know. You will get bigger and bigger till you are a big bear. That is a little bear's destiny. The little bear listened carefully. The little boat will stay the same size because that is its destiny. When that happens, you must find another little bear to fit in the little boat because it is also a little boat's destiny to keep sailing on a blue, blue lake. Will you promise? I promise, the little bear said. All summer long, Big Bear saw the little bear rowing the little boat around Huckleberry Lake and fishing from it. And on sunny days, Big Bear would stop what he was doing and watch the little bear as he lay back in the little boat, dreaming. Big Bear could tell that the little bear was happy. Big Bear was happy too. The end. That was Little Bear's Little Boat.
and welcome to today's craft. Today we will be making our boat to go into our diorama. So all you need for this craft is an old pool noodle, a straw, some masking tape, and some either paper or I used um, a flat piece of foam. And then of course you need some scissors and actually a knife. So you're definitely gonna wanna get your parents' help with this one. Um, it should be a serrated knife. It's what you're going to use to cut your pool noodle. So please get your parents or grown-ups help, but first you're going to cut a little piece of your pool noodle, just like so with your serrated knife. So once you have your little piece of pool noodle cut out, you're gonna to wanna to make your sail. So for that, you need a straw like this straw that I have here is striped so I picked a matching color and I also used a foam sheet for my sail um, but you could totally use just a piece of construction paper or even a piece of printer paper that you have colored to match your pool noodle. So I'm gonna start making my sail by just cutting out a rectangular piece of my foam sheet just so I can start with that before cutting it down to the right shape for your sail. Just makes it easier if you start out with a smaller piece rather than this giant piece. So you wanna cut it into the shape that you see here. So it's gonna have sort of diagonal edges um, with a flat top and bottom. And you wanna try to get it even, so see I wasn't quite even here, so I'm evening it up. There, that looks good, except it's a little bit too tall for me, so I just snipped off the top. And that looks good. So to attach it to our straw, we need to make a couple of holes. So I just folded up the bottom a little bit and snipped a little hole into it. And then I'm gonna do the same here at the top. Just fold it up a little bit and snip a little hole there. Just like that. And now I'm going to carefully insert my straw. So to do it, to get it through this little hole, I'm going to pinch my straw like that and squeeze it through. And I'm doing it again at the top here. Pinching my straw and squeezing it through the hole. And then I'm just going to adjust my sail. So now that I have most of my sail ready, I want to get it into the pool noodle. And as you can see, you can't just stick the straw into the pool noodle. That doesn't really work so well. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to poke it in and twist it around to make a hole for the straw in my pool noodle. And so you can play around with this, adjust the depth of it a bit. And sometimes you might need the hole a little bit bigger, so you can totally just do it again. You can stick your, your scissors in there and wiggle it around until it works just right for you. All right, now I've got most of my sail finished, but you just need the top. So for this, I just use a little bit of blue masking tape. And you could use a colored tape, or you could color a regular piece of scotch tape, or use a white piece of masking tape and then color that to match your pool noodle. It's whatever you have laying around the house. So you want to cut a piece that looks bigger than you think it might need to be because you're going to have to cut it down a little bit. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to fold it over my straw. And don't worry about putting it right at the top of the straw because I'm going to cut the straw down to fit it properly because otherwise I feel like it makes the sail a little bit too tall. And you also don't need to worry too much about taping it on perfectly because see here I have some edges, but that's okay because I'm gonna cut them off. So 
So once I have my tape cut down all nicely, I'm going to cut the little triangle out of it to make it more like a pennant flag. Just like that. And then lastly, I'm going to take and snip off the top of my straw. There you go, you have your boat. Look how cute. And the best part is because these are made out of pool noodles, they will actually float. I don't show you here in the video, but you could totally try it out in a bathtub or in your sink, and they should float for you. So I hope you enjoyed today's story craft. Stay tuned for next week. We're gonna put it all together into our diorama. And I hope this was fun, and I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.